What is up guys, it's Ian here, hitting you with it on Sunday, which is completely new, because, um, yeah, I do gameplay on Sundays now. So, I'm gonna start off my gameplay series with playing some, uh, Sonic CD, because, honestly, I love Sonic CD. It's, like, my favorite Sonic game there is. <coughs> um, but yeah, uh, I just thought it'd just be, like, a cool way to start off gameplay. And I've never, here's a little thing with this game, is there's two endings. There's uh, the good ending and the bad ending. And with, to get the good ending, you either have to get all the time stones, which are basically the Chaos Emeralds, or you can get um, a good future in all the zones. And I'll show you what that's about in a second. Uh, I set the soundtrack to uh, J uh, the Japanese one, because I don't like the American one that much. And, um, let's do a little graphical tweaking. Set it to nostalgia. There we go. And then, start a new game. Um, we're not gonna watch the, uh, opening cinematic. Oh, well, yeah, we are. No, we're not. And here we go, Palm Tree Panic Zone 1. So one thing I really like about this game is you can do um, the peel out. Which is, it just, <laughs> it's such a cool looking sprite for a Sonic game, really. So with this game, I mentioned uh, they have the different um, generator things. Or with the past and present system. And basically, um, you see this, it says the pass. You basically have to pull a uh, Back to the Future and just keep like having a fast speed like this, and there we go. Now, so now we're going to the pass. And my phone went off. That's great. So basically, all the stages are pretty much the same. There's a few differences in between each, uh, like each time variant. Like, there's some stages that only let you go to certain parts, depending on, like, the time zone you're in. But, um, the music in each past, like, zone is just amazing. And what's funny is, despite the, uh, multiple soundtracks for this game, you know, the Japanese and American one, um, the past music is the same in between, like, both, uh, nations. So I don't know why they did that, but it's, it's interesting. Um, so we just have to find the robot generators. I honestly, this is what's going to make this, uh, let's play a little interesting is, like I said, I don't know where they are. <laughs> I know where some are. I know, uh, this one's like near the end of the stage. I think I know where zone two is. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> but yeah, that's what I kind of like about this. Oh, and I'll show you the special stage too. And how the time stones work. Uh, this is what's interesting about this Sonic game, is you can blaze through it like any other one, for the most part. I mean, there's some stages where you gotta take it slow. But if you want to get the good ending by doing the, the time zones, uh, with the robot generators, you really have to just slow down, <laughs> which is... Some people might not like that for a Sonic game, but... Oh! But it's really just fun. Like, just about the exploration and all that. So these, um... Special stages are a little different than what you might be used to from, like, the Sega Genesis games. Basically, you have these little UFOs, and it gives you a certain amount to to break open uh, just by jumping and um, you have a time limit and if you jump in the water that just d destroys your time ah but what's hard about the special stages is it's almost impossible to jump on these uh, there we go to jump on the bots and um, this is the HD remaster version made by uh, Christian Whitehead um, so it's it's really playable here. If you play it on a real Sega CD, it's almost impossible, just because the frame rate is so poor. 
And I do like how the um, HD remaster gives you the uh, option to change whatever like sound you want it to be. Because in uh, the Sega CD, yeah, the Sega CD version, you had no option to do that. It was just whatever n nation you bought it in, what country, I mean. So I don't know how I'm gonna get past here. And by past, I mean like the time. Oh, there we go. Yes, perfect. First try. One thing that's a little difficult in the later stages is it gets really hard trying to warp through time. Just because you ha you have to maintain your speed. And what's annoying is um, right before you're about to warp in between time, it actually has, um, if you notice how it says like future on it or past, depending on what sign you have. It um, starts flickering, and if you stop or slow down while it's flickering, it's gone. Like, you saw like how the sparks show up. Um, if those sparks are showing up and it starts flickering, and you slow down, like I said, it's it's gone, and you can't use that sign anymore. And it's really a pain in the ass later on because there's a lot of things that just get in your way. So I, th I want to say I know where the uh, next. Um, generator is. I think it's up here. Yep, there it is. Alright, so we can just blaze through the rest of this stage. Maybe we'll go into the... F nope. I was gonna say maybe we'll go to the future, but guess not. Alright. Then we'll do this uh, special stage. I'll try to do as many special stages as I can because um I really suck at them in this game. Like after like the third or fourth uh, time stone, I just ooh does just not go well. <laughs> All right, so now we have six of these UFOs to destroy. Oh yeah, and then they do that. They like fly away last second. Ah, it's such a pain. There we go. Alright, four left, with uh, 82 seconds. There we go, one. Oh, the blue ones don't actually count, they just give you a power-up, whether that's more time or more uh, speed. So if you ever see, um, if you ever see like one of these little propeller things, make sure you run over that, because whenever you, ugh, whenever you glide, it, it's like almost a definite guarantee that you're gonna hit one of these. All right, one left. There we go, awesome, perfect. <laughs> and there we go. Second time stone. And I like how the um, this game really has like that SNES mode seven going on with like its scaling. I mean, it didn't necessarily work that well on the actual Sega CD, but playing it in this remaster is just really fun. So, this is um, zone 3, so that means the boss is here, and you can tell everything looks all happy and nice. If we didn't uh, mess with those generators, we would have gotten the bad future, and everything would have looked all destroyed and desolate. And I'll actually um, just blaze through this. I'll actually show you that after we get through this boss. Alright, so here's the easiest boss in, uh, history. Ah, uh, and I fucking got hit by him. Ah. Oh. And that was Palm Tree Panic. And then I'll show off the uh, bad future to this too. So here's how this, um, Let's Play is gonna work out. Is I'm gonna get the good future for each zone. But after we beat it, I'll show off the bad future just to show off the differences. So now we're in uh, Collision Chaos, but we're not going to do that today. So we have Time Attack. And here we go. So now you can see how everything is all destroyed and nasty and ugly looking. Alright, I'm not going to spend too much time here, you get the point. And then, um... 
We'll get the invincibility. Oh. There we go. And I don't know if this was in the good future, but there's actually two loops now instead of one. But I could just be thinking wrong. You can actually see the uh, colors of the uh, bot design is different, because before it was like pinkish, now it's red. And there we go. So like I said, it's probably the easiest boss in uh, video game history. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. Um, if you like what you saw, definitely stay tuned for more great episodes in the future. And um, let me know how I did for my first, like, real Let's Play kind of thing. I know I played Sonic Utopia and Outlast, but that wasn't anything up to the level that this is. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Stay tuned next week because it's only going to get better. So, uh, you like that video you just saw? Huh? Maybe uh, you're going to share it with your friends? Huh? Maybe uh, leave a like and a comment below? Hmm? Maybe you hit that subscribe button for us, yeah? Alright, good. So now get out of here. <laughs>